Hello everyone, Hud Bricks here and I'm back with another quick review. Today I will be reviewing set number 75939, Dr. Wu's Lab Baby Dinosaurs Breakout. A bit of a long name, but it has 164 pieces. It's ages 6 plus, has two new minifigures, two new dinos, and is a decent set. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. So once you've removed the dinosaurs and the minifigures, here's what you have left. It's not much of a build. This set is $20 USD, so I don't know quite what to think about it, but let's go ahead and review it one at a time. So I'm going to go through this very, very quickly, and so we're going to go from left to right as you read. On the right, or I mean on the left, you have a Tony Stark style machine that you can lift this up and you basically can pick up the eggs, do whatever what you want with them. You can see you just have some dirt and greenery at the bottom, two eggs, and basically this is to get sunlight or whatever. Sorry about the glare. Next up, we have a computer screen, which has the baby Ankylosaurus, and it also has a DNA sample and a eye. You can easily put the coffee mug back on. These are just some jumper plates. And next up, we have a big, huge console up there. That is one large sticker, and it has Jurassic Park here with different problems, has some minifigures power off, and down here at the bottom, you have another computer screen, which has a egg and another DNA sample. As we go down through the line, you can see that we also have a baby triceratops there. You have a leaf sample and a DNA sample and some more information. Now I'm going to have to zoom out and go up for this, but you can see that there's a screen up there. It has some good posability with just a hinge, and you can move it up and down and left and right. You can see right here, this is basically the observation deck. You can put the dinosaurs inside of there and look through them like that. But this is called the breakout, so it has to have some kind of breakout function. So you can see it is right there, kind of unsightly right here. But basically what you do, press that, boom, this comes out and they basically break out and do all of that stuff. You can easily put it back on by lifting this up and putting it back on. Those are just jumper plates. You can turn it back around. It has pretty good living conditions for the dinosaurs. Basically, they can drink from there. I think that's kind of weird that that's a gold faucet, but you have some more plant pieces, and that's about it for that. Let's go ahead and look at the desk. Pretty simple build. Kind of cool, though. You can see you have a mosquito sample right there, which is a print, and I think that looks so, so very good. You also have a syringe right there that's in green, and basically, I guess you can give the dinosaur shots or injections, and you can see that you have that right there, which is basically just like a microscope, and you can put this sample underneath, which is just a one-by-one one tile, which is round and clear, and you can look at it through there, and that's a lot of good play. Playability. You can see that you have a gun with another syringe at the end, and you also have a baby bottle in the back since they are baby dinosaurs. That about wraps this desk up pretty good except for the computer, and you can see that it just has a like kind of bottle type thing right there and some more medical or whatever stuff on there. Pretty nice thing, two tiles in the middle, and it has a lot of good playability. Let's go ahead and look at the minifigures. So here are the one and two only minifigures, and on the left you have Owen, and on the right you have Dr. Wu. They both have some pretty good back printing, no leg printing on the back for both of them, but on the front of the legs, Owen has some leg printing, which is basically just like a belt and a little pouch, and Dr. Wu doesn't have any. They both have some pretty good torso printing on the front and back, and Owen has a fairly new pr torso printing there with some different bottles of some kind of like vaccine or something like that kind of wrinkled shirt and vest. And then on the right, you have Dr. Wu with his little bitty like kind of um, nameplate, whatever you want to call that. And it says doctor. And you can see that he has a black sweater on along with a light bluish gray um, kind of vest torso type thing. And both of them have some pretty good face printing. Dr. Wu looks kind of evil. And um, Owen looks pretty good, pretty cool, pretty legit. I like the sideburns there. They both have their regular hair, and if you take them off and turn them around, they both have alternative faces, which are basically once the baby dinosaurs break out, Dr. Wu freaks out, and Owen tries to get them back in by seeming real tough. So, basically, kids love 
minifigures that are real tough. So basically this was a great financing or strategy to get this to sell by Lego. So basically this is the tough guy that kids will use to basically bring the dinosaurs back in. Speaking of the dinosaurs, let's go ahead and move to the dinosaurs. So here they are. They don't fit super well on my little setup here. They brush up against each other, but they both are dual molded, which I think is really nice. You can see the separation of plastic there, but this is like a horse where you can take off that piece in the middle. And so you could actually have a minifigure riding it, but I love the dual molding on the legs and different parts like that. You can also see that they both have some great, great, great printing for the face. And they both have great printing for the eyes and just some different detail across the whole thing. You can see the Triceratops has some different dual molding at the front with just plain white and for the beak. And you can also see that the baby Ankylosaurus also has that gray green color with some more dual molding. That's about it for them. These are the highlight of the set and this is basically what the set is basically selling you. But let's go ahead and move on in to the nitty gritty. If you're either new to the channel or haven't watched Nacho Libre, the nitty gritty is basically where I talk to you about what I think about the set, if you should buy it or any other thoughts that I have. So this set, like I said earlier, is $19.99 USD. You can change that for infl inflation and different things like that. But this is for ages six plus. A six-year-old could get some great play out of this. You can see that you, like I was saying earlier, you have the tough guy who's going to bring the dinosaurs back in. And basically you have Dr. Wu who basically kind of created the dinosaurs. Uh, pretty cool. I mean, like I said, for a six-year-old, this has a lot of play and can really would be a great set for a parent who's going a little bit lower on the price, but wants to get their kid some good play out of this thing. For a teenager like me, this is not a great set. It's not a display piece. It's aimed for six plus, like I said earlier. And if you want the set, you're buying the dinosaurs, not all this other stuff. Uh, it has a lot of stickers, too many figures. For $20, it's decent, a little bit overpriced like most Jurassic World, but what you're paying for is the dinosaurs and the licensing. Great set still, and that about wraps it up. Comment down below if you have the set, if you want the set, and any other thoughts that you have. Also, comment down below what other sets I should review on the channel. Also, if you aren't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my other videos. And hit the big thumbs up if you went on to enjoy this video because that actually does help it get out to more people. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time on HUD Bricks.